today, Johnson from Hellowell, and this week we are going to make the most delicious, the most succulent pad thai. So this is definitely a favorite in our household. We eat this pretty much every week, so I'm very excited to show it uh, and share it with you guys today. So what you're gonna need for today's recipe, we are gonna start with our produce. So you're gonna wanna get some garlic. You are gonna wanna get one fresh lime. You're gonna wanna get some zucchini. Two medium to large size zucchinis would be ideal. I could only find miniature ones, so I'm going with four zucchinis today. Two large carrots, three uh, pieces of green onion. We're gonna rock some tofu today. This is a organic, uh, locally made tofu here in Vancouver, BC. Canada! I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I was introduced to these noodles recently. They're called Miracle Noodles and they're shirataki pasta. These noodles, you guys, have zero calories in them. That's right, I said zero calories. They are soy free, they're gluten free, they are vegan. So like, what the heck are these, right? Well, apparently, according to the package, they're made from the root of a plant called the Kani Yaku Imo. I'm probably butchering that name. Um, but all you need to know is it's from the fiber of a plant. They're zero calories, they're gluten-free, they're vegan. Amazing! Miracle noodles. So we're gonna use that today. Um, you're gonna need some almond butter. That is going to be for our sauce. So get yourself some almond butter. You're gonna need some soy sauce. If you are wheat or gluten intolerant, you can use the Bragg's liquid amino soy sauce. This is what I use. And then you're gonna need some almonds. <laughs> almonds and that's it let's get started so we're gonna start by prepping our produce so you're gonna want to cut your carrots and your zucchini into match sticks just starting by chopping off the ends of all the produce the stuff that we're not gonna use that's gonna go in the garbage or the compost all right let's get chopping okay I forgot I want to peel my carrots. I do not like carrot skins. So what I like to do with the vegetables when I'm cutting them into matchsticks is to cut each vegetable into about thirds. So that way you don't have like massive matchstick chunks. So I cut them into thirds and then usually cut them just in half. You don't have to be a perfectionist with this. Like they don't have to be perfect little matchsticks, but basically I cut them so that they look about like that. So you're just gonna wanna do that with all your produce. I'll show you guys the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing with the zucchini. So with the zucchini, I'll probably cut them into half pieces because the zucchini is a little bit shorter. Mm, mm, mm. Vegetables. Same thing with the zucchini, you're cutting them into pieces like this. Yummy. All right, so now you guys are gonna do that with all your produce, just chop them up into matchsticks. Matchsticks all of your carrots and zucchini. You want to make them cut up into about the same sizes so that they cook evenly. We're gonna chop up our basil. Don't you guys love the smell of fresh basil? Okay, so basically you're just gonna to want to rip off the leaves. You do not want the stems, and you're just gonna chop lightly chop the basil as well. As you guys can see, I'm not like a expert with my knife skills. As long as you cut it into smaller pieces, that's good enough. We've got our basil minced up. Now we're also going to do the same with our almonds. So you've got a half a cup of almonds and just go to town. The almonds are going to be the garnish on top of your pad thai. So I suppose you could just buy slivered almonds. That would probably be easier than you would not have to chop them. But I was not smart enough to think of that. So I'm chopping mine. Okay, now we're gonna chop up our tofu. Get your tofu. Do not cut off your finger. Careful. Okay, so now we're just gonna chop and cube our tofu. That tofu dough. Okay, 
All right, so we've got all of our veggies prepped, our almonds chopped, our tofu chopped, everything is good to go. I'm gonna put this off to the side, and now we are going to make us a sauce. We are going to make us a sauce for the uh, pad thai. All right, for our sauce, we're gonna need a little bit of boiling water, so I'm just gonna put some in my pot, in my kettle. So while that is boiling, I'm gonna start getting my almond butter Ugh. open. So this sauce, the base is almond butter. One cup of almond butter in the bowl. Our water is boiling, so now we're gonna add a half a cup of hot water to the mixture. Did you guys just see that? I tried to put the cup back on the kettle thing. Danae's not completely with it today. We're now gonna put in four tablespoons of our soy sauce or soy sauce alternative to Three, four, and last but not least, all we need is some garlic, baby. So I'm putting in three cloves of minced garlic. Does anybody else out there love garlic as much as I do? Comment in the comments below. If you are a garlic fiend, sure you have dragon breath and nobody ever wants to come near you or kiss you, but I mean, it's worth it, right guys? All right, after you've got all your ingredients in your bowl, you're just gonna whisk it. It has come to my attention, I don't own a whisk. So I'm using a fork, that will work as well. Just mix it up until it's all mixed together. Okay, so now we're going to drain our noodles. So just open the package. So just rinse them really well in warm water. Okay, so after you've rinsed and strained the noodles, the little nudies, I just put them on the cutting board. They're very long noodles, like, Look how long these are. <sighs> Never ending noodles. I like to take my knife and just make a couple, like three or four chops across just to cut them down a little bit. All right, so we've got our noodles chopped. We have got everything prepped, you guys. We are ready to go. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna put it all together on the stove. So you're going to wanna put a pan on high one teaspoon of oil in the pan. Now we're gonna take our tofu, throw it in the pan, and just saute it up. So this is pretty much how I like my tofu to look. If you were to observe, all sides are browned, are crispy. Mm, mm, mm. Brown on all sides. If you guys want a more detailed look of how I cook my tofu, my last week's video on how to make vegan green curry, I did a little bit more of a detailed look in that video, so I will include the link. We're now going to start frying our veggies. Once again, put your pan on high heat. We're gonna use half a tablespoon of oil and you're gonna add the carrots and the zucchini to your pan. All right, now you're gonna saute this on medium heat for five minutes. After five minutes of cooking, you are going to add half of the chopped green onion. You could put it in a bowl so you don't look like a fool like me just standing with it in your hands like this. But I didn't have another clean bowl, so. Add half the green onion and you're gonna want to stir and cook for another five minutes. Throughout the five minutes, you're just gonna want to stir, flip the veggies. After that five minutes is up, you can make sure your veggies are cooked to your liking. Then we're just gonna combine everything. Throw in your tofu, throw in your noodles, the fresh basil, and last but not least, the best part, the sauce. I am slightly tempted to lick this bowl. Don't watch. So good. What do you want from me? I have no self-control. All right, so after you've combined all your ingredients in the frying pan, plate it, top it with some of the green onion, some of the chopped almonds, and then squeeze on a little bit of lime juice. There you go, guys. This week's recipe, a vegan, gluten-free pad thai. I don't know about you guys, but I have tried to make a lot of different vegan pad thais and most of them do not turn out very good. This one by far is my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we do. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see new videos, I do put out new plant-based recipes every week. Hit the subscribe button down below and you will be notified every week when those videos come out. Thanks for watching guys.